Meantime, reactions have continued to trail the federal government's release of 10 billion naira to support production of COVID-19 vaccine in the country. Speaking to Plus TV Africa News, former Commissioner for Health in Ogun State, Dr. Babatunde Kbaya says a COVID-19 vaccine production is novel and has taken huge researches and technologies by manufacturers, which is one thing Nigeria lacks. Dr. Kbaya urges the nation's public health system to harness the opportunities the second wave of the pandemic has brought. This is the fastest vaccine that has been produced globally. Ordinarily, nobody expected that the vaccine would be ready in one year into a pandemic. Okay, and the technological requirement um, it is, it is so huge. And I'm, I'm not sure that we have the kind of technolo technological infrastructure that was put into producing any of these vaccines. You know, uh, mRNA vaccine requires a whole lot of technology, including the storage that minus 70 degrees centigrade. Where are we going to have technology to do that? On the resumption of schools in the wake of rising COVID 19 figures, the medical practitioner says the decision of reopening by the government is one that has been widely discussed. He believes that if all stakeholders follow laid-down guidelines, the students will be safe. I think the reason behind the federal government, you know, agreeing that the school should open is that one, um, if the necessary precaution could be taken and um, tests could be done in places where students are going to be put in boarding houses, and then uh, transmission reduction can be guaranteed. Uh, there's nothing stopping many of the schools from resuming. Um, but the bottom line is that um, we need to, one, take necessary precaution to make sure that uh, the students and the teachers and the managers of the school comply with all um, the NCDC guidelines. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.